Yo, it's Elliot with Yo, Elliot. You got strength questions and I got your answer. Yo, Elliot. Today we got a question from our buddy in the Fresh Shades who wants to know how he can get his quads more involved in his deadlift pattern. Check him out. Yo, Elliot, what's up, man? I got a question concerning the deadlift. When I do deadlifts, I, I don't ever feel it really in my quads. Like, I, won't, I don't feel like it really hits my quads, and I don't know why. Like, I, I feel it hit my other parts, like on my body. You know, I, I really use my hip drive for it and stuff, but I never, I never feel it hit my quads. All right, dude, thanks for the question. Here's the situation. The best way to get your quads more involved in your deadlift is to bend your knees and ankles a little bit more. And if you've noticed in a lot of my deadlift videos, I wear wedges. These are shoes that have a high heel. And what that high heel does is it creates an extra bend in the ankle, which forces the knees forward so that I can sink my hips and have a bit more of a triple extension while I get out of my, get out of my deadlift. A lot of guys don't deadlift that way, but I have a tendency to overuse my glutes and hamstrings like you might and not get my quads as involved. So a lot of guys wear flat shoes because they don't have that problem. But for me, in order to get my quads more involved, I want to bend my ankles a little bit more by raising my heels. So that's what I would suggest you do. Either get a pair of weightlifting shoes that allow the heel to be a bit more raised or you can also wear dress shoes. I've seen some weird weirdos do that in the gym where they just have on dress shoes. Everybody wonders what's going on, but because they probably have Olympic lifted or deadlifted before they understand that the raised heel is going to allow them to bend the ankle a little bit more and get more quad activation. Throw that little trick in, and I hope that helps. Yo, Elliot.